Hey everybody, hope all is well. So, uh, welcome to another episode of About Those Comments. I did a video on the Simply Sad channel, and it was basically geared toward investing, called Grandpa Dancing and Jamming. Here's why. So, uh, here we have a few comments. This comment here, Aurora Renee, who says, this reminds me of another investing advertising with the British bisexual comedian Jeffrey or whatever. Though the main problem with him, he saw the black or biracial woman all up next to a white man in the ad that said something about invest in your future. And he threw a fit because a black man ain't nothing to invest in in the future. So I was thinking, Godfrey, okay. And it could be that's the pronunciation, but I do remember saying that with Godfrey because I uh, did a video uh, about that. But look at this last sentence here. He threw a fit because of a black woman or a biracial woman all up next to a white man in the ad that says something about investing in your future. And he threw a fit because a black man ate nothing to invest in in the future. What are your thoughts on it? I hate to say it. Mammies have invested in black men. They have. What's the return? Now, some, they are getting a return. Uh, they've invested in some of these dusties. And the dusties will be there with them until death do one of them part. And sometimes he's doing the pardon because some of these dusties are killing the mamas and the mammas. They are. Killing them left and right. That could be their return on the investment, the ROI, death. The other thing is, the mammas invest in them. That man will be there to the end, hoping that mama goes first. Because that'll be the only house that he'll ever have. It's one his mama has left to him. And in most mammy fashion, they're definitely not going to leave it to the black woman because there's a competition. Secondly, they just have a uh, it's a, a love affair with that derelict, dusty son of theirs. Mm -hmm. And they will mammy him and carry him into the end. So you think about it. I've seen black women. I know black women that have. It's unreal. They are putting these men through universities, through colleges, when they have one, she hadn't even put her own kid. And I think this woman had like three or four kids. And it's like, you got to be freaking kidding me. She put a Dusty through the university. Mm-hmm. Oh, he didn't have any student loan debt. She put out tens of thousands. Honest to goodness. So-called professional black woman. She put out tens of thousands on this dust bucket to put him through the university. And I believe she had, what, three or four kids? I think four kids. That was the shocking part. He stayed there with her. Uh, he didn't live on campus. Of course, he lived with her. He got his four-year degree. And when before he even graduated, when it was near graduation, he bounced out. Yep, he bounced out and left her with those four kids that she had, three or four kids that she had, and he got with somebody else, another uh, young woman from the university who didn't have any kids. But she paid cash for it. It was just shocking. And, I, and then the worst part was this. You know when he bounced out? Not too soon later, she ended up losing her job. But it was shocking, and she was throwing a fit about, you know, how she helped him and invested in him, and he going to up and leave her like that, paid for his four-year degree. That's what she did, and that was the return on the investment. He left her. So this here, do you honestly and truly think that the rest of society hasn't figured this out about the black community? Seriously, honestly, <coughs> excuse me. Why do you think every time you look up, they're investing in black women? 
Goldman Sachs, Aberdeen, uh, now MasterCard. Who invested in Tyrone? You had Robert Smith to pay their debt off. Okay, now where's the, where's the job? They already know. They're not good with it. And I and I've did a video on that on Robert Smith. I think it was PR because it, we all know he gave up old oh boy that put him on the map, gave him up to the feds, is what's reported. It got hot for him, and the person that put you on, he reportedly gave him up. So uh things like that, yeah, you're gonna need some good PR. And that's what I think he did that, and so do a lot of other people. Okay? But you think about it. Is a black man worth investing in? Ask the mammies. They invested in him. Remember that black woman? She invested in her son by letting him stay with her. Uh, what, 24 years old? And she asked for gas money and rent money. And he popped off some bullets at her. Because she asked for gas and rent money. 24 years old. How's he been making it this long? She's been supporting him. Now you want to go ahead and make a man because you're tired. Or maybe your money's gotten a little funny. He's met you would now he turned to Billy Buckshot. So you think about it. If you really think about it, I hate to say it collectively, and that's, I'm not gonna say I hate to say it, but just being realistic. Investing in a black man for the future, look at the black community. And especially it's really not worth it for a black woman. We already know that. Because time he gets some money, he wants any woman, any woman but a black woman, typically, because of self-hatred. But then, once they done got his money, you know, and they're gone, he's not good in investing and planning. Once he's done that, that's happened to him, he want to make his way back to Blackistan and find a black woman that he can sit up under. Like a little child, 35-year-old little child, support and take care of me. So this here, I have to agree with. And God forget all said about the advertisement. Look at the big picture. If you want to have a future, it's hard to have one with a black man. It's hard. There, are, I know some you can, yeah, de definitely. But I'm speaking collectively. Let's not pretend this guy's not reliable. Most black women think they're doing well by paying half. Sweetie, you got a roommate with benefits. A man is to be a provider. If it can't be a provider, it wouldn't be wise to be his writer. So stop and think. This is what she's saying. Society already knows it. Because investing in a black man, there's nothing to it. She said, invest in your future. Either if it because a black man ain't nothing to invest in in the future. Welcome to Blackistan. Some black women are the only ones who don't get it. The rest of society gets it. And that's why these VCs, all these venture capitalists, big money, they're not trying to invest in Tyrone because they know it will definitely go wrong. So if we're finished, check out the video. I want to know your thoughts. Investing in a black man in the, in the future, there's no future in it. Go ahead and invest in it. Some have tried and sitting up here, I guarantee you're sitting up here in poverty today because you invested in a black man and you've been left holding the bag with the cheering, the baby and all the bills. Where, where is he? Where is the return for investing in a black man? You all tell me because I am so out of Blackistan. Thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing your comments. Feel free to subscribe and share and I'm out.